Fresh face about to get fucked. Hi guys. Hi. It's Delene. I'm Chip. And welcome to Sugar and Spice underscore makeup. Today we're going to be doing a different type of series. We're going to be doing uh, Instagram makeup artist inspired or recreational makeups. We're going to both pick an artist and recreate or do an inspired look by them and show some love. Yeah. I'm probably going to fail. Great. I can't wait to watch you do this. Fail. So we've each taken a small <laughs> peek at each other's photo, but not like really intensely looked at it. I have my reference up because, you know, like, it's pretty simple, but I don't want to get lost and off track because it involves freckles and I never do freckles. So <laughs> no. we'll put up a reference photo of like what no. we're looking at y'all so you can actually see what we're yes. I mean, we're just going to go ahead and jump into the look. So I haven't done my brows yet. The reference photo, she actually has really natural looking brows. I'm gonna stick to my brow gal and then I'm gonna be using the ABH brow pen and this is in the universal light shade. All right, so my gal here is Makeup Misa. Looks like her brows are, they're, they're pretty sharp, pretty good. Got some natural start to like a very sharp end. So I'm taking that as Chip, do your brows like you always do. So we're just gonna go in with the ColourPop brow pencil in soft black. Yeah, I would say the brows are very natural. Mine are a little bit, like my reference was a little bit more like sparse and chill. And then chips are a little bit more Instagram-esque. It has the nice fade in the front of the brow and then just kind of tapers off into darker tones. The name of the artist that I chose is Do You Even Blend? Which I mean like- <laughs> That is so cute. I love your Instagram name. <laughs> I'm going to hoard whatever version of that for a later time. <laughs> that is so cute. So like I never do brows like this, like just hand draw them in. So this is interesting for me. I'm gonna prime my eyes using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the look. I'm using the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker Palette. So I'm going to add some tape. And then in this photo, she also has blush over the nose bridge and then the freckles are on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that blush really quick because the eye look is very, very simple. And I'll be using a Makeup Revolution London Matte Blush and this is in the shade Nude. So we're gonna go in with, okay, so we're gonna go with Raspberry first and I'm using the Morphe M434 brush. And we're just gonna apply Raspberry to the outer corner. This will be interesting too, because the person I picked, which now I'm realizing, is very fair toned. So it'll be cool to see what the shades will look like on me versus her. Remember, it's not supposed to be always exact. You can change what you want. Yeah, I'm about to. Okay, <laughs> done. <laughs> I'm not quite there. I'm working on my sunburn right now. Oh, you sunburn. And then I'm just gonna take a light amount of blush, like actually where I would apply blush because I want it to be the most concentrated. You can only really see it on camera, like on the sides of my nose, but I promise <laughs> like it's there on top of the nose too. <laughs> I'm gonna use the same brown pen at first and see how it goes again. I don't really do freckles, so. I thought I had freckles, but they're actually moles. <laughs> okay, so that shade is down. All right, so I'm going in with Bubblegum using Morphe R34. And we're going to buff out Raspberry. I don't know. I'm just not about the faux freckle look, but I mean, like, I want to be as close to the photo as possible and, like, mm -hmm. she did frecks. Okay, so we're done with the blush. We're done with the frecks. How do you guys feel about faux freckles? Like, I feel if you have natural freckles, you cover them up with makeup, like Chip said, some people, they want them to completely disappear. You don't want to see them at all. I felt like if I had a exuberant amount of natural freckles and my skin wasn't gross, I would probably just wear like very light coverage foundation mm -hmm. and just go about my day. Okay, we're going in with Drug Lord to create our cut crease. So like her highlight isn't intense. That's the only thing that I'm really gonna change. She has a very like natural glow to her skin, but I'm gonna be using Trophy Wife as my transition shade in my eye look. So I'm gonna be using it as the highlight as well. I'm just gonna play some of the Glam Glow Glow Starter in Nude Glow for my highlighting base so I still have that naturalness peeking through. I'm gonna jump into the Trophy Wife shade some more and I'm gonna do my transition. It's just gonna be very light, just kind of like there's something there. I'm gonna take the Morphe M412 to do that. I'm just gonna apply that into the crease area. I'll be excited when we're doing this and it's actually like the products that they list are products that I actually own so I can be as authentic as possible. I definitely didn't even think of that. I was she just like- She listed like five things and I'm like, I have none of those. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. 
Okay, so I'm going into Delicious with the Morphe R39 brush and I'm just gonna darken out the just the outer V. So in her look, she has literally just like a neon pigment on the eye. So I'm gonna be taking a neon pigment from Bella Gaunt. The pots everywhere. are too small for like yeah. how much product it gets in there. Like you just spill it everywhere. Sephora Pro 14. Yeah. Start packing this on the lid. She kind of uses it everywhere. So it's all the way under the eye too and all the way into the crease for the most part. So I'll probably cover most of the trophy wife shade, but I just needed it there to like have something. Okay, and then we're going in with Gumdrop on the Sephora 76 brush. And we're gonna just apply that right beside. It's delicious. <laughs> Same brush going in with Brain Freeze. Honestly, I love this video idea because I don't have to think of a makeup pour. I just have to find the shade. Okay, now we're going to do our wing liner using the Kat Von D Trooper liner. Right now I'm using the ColourPop Cream Gel to just get into the lash line a little bit. And this was in Swerve. And then we're gonna be using Exit in the lower water line, but I'm gonna wait until I get my top liner done. She has a really long, like, wispy wing, so I'm going to try my best. All right, so we're gonna remove the tape. Onto the Cream Gel Liner and Exit. It's not like a stark white, it's just like a faint, lighter color. So I'm gonna be mixing Two different lips. These are both from Bella Gaunt and Harvest and Mudslide because her shade is like a pukey baby food kind of greeny yellow. So it's not really this one. It's not really that one. Is that pukey? And then we're going to prep the lashes with the Tarte Tartiste. And then for actual lashes, mm -hmm. we're using the Toddy TL3s. Basically the shape is a little bit like kind of like a W. It has parts that are longer and then shorter. I'm going in with a cream liner. This is from Maybelline in the shade Soft Nude. It looks like there is some um, shadow underneath, a little mixture of pink. So we're gonna go with raspberry and delicious under the eyes. Let's start with raspberry first. Okay, and then we're gonna dip into delicious. And the brush I'm using is the Sigma E45. I think I got it. Y'all, y'all, that, that lip is like. It's a color I would definitely wear. Mm -hmm. And then there is a inner corner highlight. I'm gonna go in with Jawbreaker. It looks like it's a white tone on her, but it's like more of a shimmery white. These lashes are from Toddy Lashes. Like I said, it's the TL3. Gonna go ahead and get those applied. And then <laughs> we, done. Done. we did it. Yay. Well done, guys. <sighs> How does it feel to do something that you kind of do sometimes, but not always do a lot? Yeah, I think like following someone else's color scheme was interesting because I'm like, would I ever do these together? First choice. No. No. No, but it was fun just stepping out of the comfort zone, which is always a good thing. I love it though. Those lashes like though, yeah. She always, girl, these lashes. Put these some close ups so for you guys and put the reference next to us in some of it so you can see what we were attempting to accomplish and what we actually came up with. <laughs> for watching our video today. If you like this, please put it down in the comments so we can do some more if there's some artists you want us to look at and redo or recreate or, you know, just be inspired by, let us know. Yes. Hit us up on our social media. It's all sugar and spice underscore makeup. We have their Instagram and our Facebook page and also here. So hit that subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Bye.